Good evening, and welcome back to 30 at 6 on Cecil TV. Today is Monday, March 2nd. I'm Allison Donnelly. And I'm Rob Church. I'm just oh. getting ready for spring, reading my seed catalog. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you from no, your oh, no, reading. No, no, no. We'll get extra time. Anyway, no, we'll lose time, right? Oh, we were just talking about this. So spring forward, so you lose an hour, so you could be late. That's right, but we'll have how I think later it. days so I can work at planting my gardens and my crops and stuff. I want to get some exactly. pear trees. Right. So you were talking about some pear trees, right? Pear trees, yeah. I think that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. Great addition to your yard. So when is Daylight Savings Time? Uh, this Sunday, March 8th, is Daylight Savings. So really? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, great. Like, it crept up, and I was just thinking spring is three weeks away, which, I mean... It's crazy, except that we hardly had a winter, so... It, yeah, well, it, I'm happy about the fact that spring is on the way. Yeah, me too. Me and, too. and it was really nice waking up this morning and having it... I, I've been noticing that it's a little lighter when I wake yeah. up every Crocuses day. are up. I saw Dan the line today. Nice. So. Nice. So what else has happened coming up? Uh, we're having Alan McCarthy, county executive, on the yeah. show today. We have Dialogue with Leadership tonight. Um, so we'll talk to Alan. I have some questions about, well, coronavirus um, is upon us in the United States. And then um, wanted to talk to him about some questions I have about the Kerwin Commission, which is this plan um, to put forth several um, kinds of upgrades for public education in Maryland to make schools more competitive against other right. states and countries. So. Um, we'll talk to him about that. And then, as you know, we have the ice splash from this past weekend. Um, in fact, Al Alan, I believe, participated in the ice splash. Oh, <laughs> no, we gotta, well, I hope we got that on film. <laughs> not, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and then you uh, met up with a gentleman f who has, from Port Deposit, who right. has some thoughts about the development of granite c cliffs. A which big is a, neighborhood people are proposing right outside of Port Deposit. Yeah. Yep, and it sounds like not everyone is happy about it. No, I think there's a, quite a list of people that are concerned mm -hmm. about this uh, proposed development yeah. and the, the changes that it, it might bring about. Mm -hmm. Right, and I read today that there are people in, in Perryville who are organizing against the development of this warehouse at the site of Perryville Outlets. So I wonder, we'll have to... Keep an eye on those. Nobody's issues. protesting the Great Wolf Lodge, though. Yeah, I want we're all <laughs> waiting for that. Yeah, we're all lining up at the door. Hey, speaking of um, waiting, we're waiting for uh, the primaries that are coming up, right? Yeah, so April 28th is the primary day in Maryland. So um, for Cecil County, that means we, or for Cecil County local elections, that means Republicans will choose a new county executive. Um, to run against the Democrat um, and uh, a county council person and also school board. There's a seat. And there's a lot of work that, that, that goes into just hosting primaries like the, at the middle yeah. school. Yeah, I think, I mean, we have a lot of talk in this country about um, making sure our elections are secure, but, and, and there are so many, so many people who are involved with that effort and the whole polling process the whole polling process and just like making sure people know how to fill out their ballot how like checking voters in setting up taking down and on that note um the cecil county election board is looking for poll workers did you know that you can make money you can you, you can make depending on which election it is i think it's about 150 up to 300 dollars you could make in a working day. in an election mm-hmm yeah, and that would, I think that would be a cool So experience. how would a person, not that I want to do it, that <laughs> I'm independently wealthy, as you know. Oh, I know. But, <laughs> but how would a person, uh, you know, participate in that? So we're going to learn more about that next week. We have someone coming from the Board of Elections, but there's, the applications are on the Cecil County Board of Elections website. And I'm not sure about the deadline and such yet, but as long as you, there's some requirements. You have to be 16 and above. You have to be able to work a 15-hour day. Um, you have to be able to lift moderately heavy objects. So, um, and that's for the primary and for the general election right. in in November. So that, that sounds pretty good. Tonight. I think it would be a really interesting way to spend a couple of days. Yeah. So, we'll be back after these messages.